Hey guys, welcome back or welcome for the first time to my YouTube channel. My name is Matthew van der Putten, also known as Matt Joes, and this channel is all about time lapse, travel, and teaching. And today I'm going to combine all three of those things in one video. I'm going to show you a little uh, solid state or hard drive travel hack uh, for editing on the go. I don't have much time today for this video because I'm leaving for the Northern Territory in Australia in less than 24 hours and I need to pack and uh, get everything sorted. If you want to see what I'm bringing on that trip, check out the previous video. But for now, this is what we're going to do today. So what you'll need is a couple of Velcro tabs. These were $2.50. That's pretty cheap. A solid state drive of your choice. I like the Sandisk brand. I don't know why, but I've just been using them since forever and I figured they always work well. So might as well keep doing that. I bought this for, I think, 400 bucks Australian. And this is a case that I got off eBay. It's an Orico Clear uh, 2.5 inch, I think, USB 3 solid state or hard drive case. Now we're going to combine all that and we're going to put some more of these patches, that's from a previous hard drive, on the back of my laptop and we're going to just create a little snug mobile editing system. Let's, uh, let's go. So first off, obviously, uh, maybe I should tell you why we're doing this video. I hate hard drives that are like slinging around everywhere and um, Slinging, is that a word? I'm not sure. I think that's a Dutch translation to English. Slinging it. Uh, anyways, number one, spinning hard drives are terrible. If they move a little bit, you can get unlucky and they'll just corrupt everything and bye-bye data. That's why I like to edit on solid state drives. Not only because there's no spinning elements in there, but also because they are bloody fast. Like, they are so quick. I think when I offload a full uh, CFast card to my hard drive on a spinning one, it takes like 20 minutes. On the solid state one, it takes me about four or five minutes, and that's, you know, I'm all about efficiency, and that's just so efficient, and that just gets me going. So, for this one, you can buy just normal uh, solid state hard drives, like Samsung makes the T3 series, which is pretty awesome and pretty small, but you pay a premium for that. You can just buy these internal hard drives off, you know, just off the internet, and they are so much cheaper than the ones with the enclosure. Buy the enclosure yourself, uh, get a USB cable, and you're good to go. So, let me now show you how we're going to put this on the laptop now that's all going to work. All right, so first things first, I am going to show you the most rewarding thing of the whole video, which is peeling off oh, this plastic. Like, mm, that's one. And where is it? Come on, buddy. Every extra second this is rolling, I'm like, oh, 4K data storage, terrible. <laughs> Anyways, almost there. Oh, it's such a, oh, ruined. Anyways, that's that. Now, this is a clear case. As I said, I'll put the link in the description down below. I've used some other cases before, and there's somewhere in there. And pretty much what happened was, anytime you weren't actively using your hard drive or the solid state drive in the case, it would completely freeze up your computer, which obviously isn't ideal. These aren't the most sturdiest ones, but these hard drives are quite sturdy. So let's open up this little bad boy. I got this one from a store that I'm not going to plug because they actually lost the hard drive. Luckily, I paid for insurance on that shipping and uh, they sent me off a new one, but I wasn't very happy with the customer service, so I'm not actually going to mention who it was. Or maybe I should and then you should just never buy anything there. <laughs> Jokes. Um, all right, package is empty. Oh, it's a surprise unboxing. So what do we have here? An anti-theft tag. This is the hard drive. Push it out. Um, oh, free things not better not show you that um, code little warranty thing and this is the case electrostatic sensitive yep I get that um, I should be fine I hope I'm not sure where's my little knife damn it I thought I had a here we go a little knife right there so let's be careful in uh, cutting this open like so kind of it's really hard shooting this because the camera's like in front of my face and I can look at it on the screen, but it's a bit of a lag on there, so it's not ideal. Anyways, pretty much, um, I'm gonna, whoop, be careful now. Take this out, I'm gonna apply, I'm gonna stick this on the top of it. It's got this little sticky strip one and sticky strip two. And then I'm just gonna have a quick look where it's gonna go. I'm pretty sure it just goes shaboom on there, like so. Press it down firmly. Slide that bad boy in there, like that. And voila, I've just saved a couple hundred dollars on a mobile solid state drive for editing. Um, there's one right there that I'm using currently. So for the upcoming trip to the Northern Territory, I'll actually have two 
uh, one terabyte solid state solid state drives to edit do uh, to edit on now next step these hook and loop fasteners i don't know why they call them hook and loop i thought it was just velcro but maybe that's like trademarked or something and these guys are just ripping that ripping that straight up oh man imagine the clickbait if i would start bleeding by cutting myself watching too much David Dobrik. So we have obviously the, actually I don't know what is what hook or loop, but yeah, they stick. So I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put this, this drive. I pretty much want it. I'll just reuse the ones I have currently and then figure another spot out for the, for that one. But yeah, obviously brand out SanDisk, are you watching? And then we're going to figure out where I'm going to put these uh, stickers. So these are soft and then I'm going to put the I don't know if it's a hook or a loop. I'm gonna put them about the same spacing. I'm really rushing this one. It's not ideal, but content's content. And it's actually one of my favorite travel tips. My good friend Rob Lally, Rob Lally, Rob Mullally, uh copied, see I've made a mistake because I'm gonna go over the edge now. Actually, no, it's all good. Um, made this video a while back and he credited me because he saw me do it. I saw Jared Singh do it. And then I started doing it. Anyways, it's a merry-go-round of credits and, and all that. Now, shaboom, this thing is sorted and it's not gonna go anywhere. So I can now edit on the road and it actually it's gonna look pretty badass when I have the other drive on there and you just see me editing with that on the back. Um, I was gonna mention something. Oh yeah, someone asked me a while back, um, do you do that with magnets or how do you do that? Now, hard drives are all ones and zeros. I'm not actually too sure about solid state drives. I know spinning drives are. I've done this with spinning disks as well, but obviously it's not preferred. Um, but yeah, don't don't mix magnets and hard drives pretty much as a straight up no-no. Don't ever do that. But um, yeah, oops, let's do this. I should now grab the other drive and put it on here, but you've seen how it works. And uh, this is pretty much one of my ideal or one of my favorite little travel hacks uh, for traveling creatives, I guess. So yeah, let's cut this shot and move on to the next one. And voila, that's gonna be it. So now I'll be adding cables, possibly also a uh, little USB hub to ha use the same port on the side with these two drives. And yeah, that's gonna be my mobile editing station. Now I know what you're thinking, why does this guy need two terabytes on the back of his laptop? It's because I am a time-lapse photographer and that is a ton of data, I keep all the raw files. And I've recently started shooting 4K on my One X2 and the codec that is in this camera is absolutely terrible. I mean, it's great if you love uh, large file sizes and I guess a lot of data to work with, but it's still 8-bit, so it doesn't really matter. Anyways, um, that is my little travel hack video. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or whatever you want to share, put it in the comments down below. Check out my Patreon if you want to support this channel. I recently opened that and it's been pretty fun so far. It's like a little exclusive social media forum and community. Uh, we're almost at 30 members and there's tons of stuff up there. Um, and yeah, I think it's it's good value if you want to see more of my work and more uh, get more tips and tricks, especially the time-lapse cheat sheet, which is on the third tier, which is pretty much all the info you need to shoot and edit time-lapses. Um, I'm going to the NT tomorrow. You can follow along using uh, the video blog playlist, Matt Joe's vlogs on this channel. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon. Cheeky post credit scene. I forgot to show you this. Uh, I bought this at Sun Studios. Don't get into like one series cameras because this battery cost me $225. Ouch. All right, post credit scene time. All I've got to figure out now is which cables to use because this obviously looks slightly ridiculous. I'm still really happy with it though, but yeah, I think I'm going to need to have some really short USB cables. Anyways, I will see you soon. Bye. Now, I know what you're thinking. Uh, why does this guy need... Uh, come on, come on.